Good afternoon, FS Club Blog Bad Channel, and welcome back to FS Daily News, the number one place to get all your FS news in one video for the day. Well, we got over that 70,000 subscriber mark, so thank you guys so much. Actually, already almost to 70,100. Last night, I tried to do a celebration stream, but my internet was messed up. I think it was actually the storms that were coming in my area. Anyways, let's get to this intro. Today, we have some music over from Sid Mahdi. Looks like he is going to be bringing his bi rotor to Farming Simulator 22. We also have some news from Farm Central Soul about their Ford F600. And new mods wasn't a bad day either. We got some new Mossy tractors and some nice trailer packs, plus more. Remember, if you guys do like this video, which hopefully you guys do, make sure to smash that like button. Talked enough, let's go. Welcome back. Okay, we don't have too much news to go over, but let's go over it anyways. The first one is from EY Modding. The Mossy Ferguson 4000 series has now been retextured and it has submitted to the mod up. So hopefully it does pass very soon. Probably going to be taking about almost a half a month to a month before Giants start testing this. And then we should see it on the mod up if it passes. This time I hope it does. And then now the next piece of news to talk about is from Farm Central Assault. Of course, these are the same creators that are bringing out the F100 and the F100 long bed. They are now making the next one, which is the Ford F600 V8 1961. You see from the pictures right here, this looks very, very good. Of course, it's not going to be called a Ford F600 on console. It's probably going to be called a Lizard F600. But can't wait for this. I mean, you can even open up the hood. And then now onto the last piece of news for today, and that is from Sid Mahdi. He had this to say, today he's presenting the Bi-Rotor Combine Convert. The name in Farming Simulator game, it will be of course called the Twin Screw. This is a beast so many have liked. Asked when will it be released? Coming soon. He has visually improved the Combine. It also has new textures, normal maps increasing the quality of the modifications. Can't wait for this. I actually use this thing a lot in FS19. The turning radius on this is amazing. Okay, so that right there guys is all the news for today. Let's head on over and take a look at the new mods we got. Welcome to the new mod showcase part of the video. Three days in a row with some really good mods. Well, we got 17 new mods and updates to go over today. On all platforms, we have 11 new mods and three new updates. For PC only, we only got three new mods. So let's get to it. Okay, so here we go. I guess today was really just a mossy kind of day. Welcome to the all platform mods. The first ones are the Mossy Ferguson 3700 and 4700 series. This is from Agrotron Modding. Uh, includes two, the MF 3700AL and the MF 4700M. Uh, let's see, this one right here, let's see, let's go over it. 75 horsepower is the base manual transmission, 105 liters of fuel, 24 miles an hour and 3.4 tons, $43,000. Let's see, wheels, we got trailboard. We got Michelin, Continental, Midas, Bridestine, Nokian. Uh, you got standard, wide, wide tires plus weights, narrow tires, rear twin wheels, twin wheels, and then back to standard. Probably gonna be like that for everyone. Well, actually, Michelin, Michelin has wide, wide tires plus weights, and then wide. Uh, Continental looks like it has about the same. Midas has about the same. Bridestine, same. Nokian, you just got the communals, and that's it. Uh, you can also put a front loader attacher. You got the quickie or no. The engine setup, you got the 3707 AL, which is 75 horsepower. The 3708 AL, which is 85. The 3709 AL, which is 95. And that is it on that one. And then we have the bigger one, the 4700M. Uh, you got front weight, no, or yes on that, and that's it. The wheel brands, it is completely the same as the other one. I really like those. Look at that. Wow. All right, anyways, front loader attacher. You got the quickie Hauer on this one, or no. And then it just said you got the 4708M, which is 82. The 4709M, which is 92. The 4710M, which is 100. So this thing can actually hit 100. Okay, so let's get this one real quick. Okay, really love those tires in the back right there. Has the Dyna 2 on the side, 4710M. Uh, really nice. Okay, so let's get in it real quick. Anything happen when you get in? No, it does not. Let me bring up the help menu. Uh, let's see, lights, one, two, three, three set of lights. Turn signals, yep, beacons, two beacons on the top. Okay, I'm gonna turn the engine over and be quiet. Okay, 
Okay, not bad engine sounds. Here's interior when you start it up. There we go. Turn signals. Lights. You can actually see the light thing actually moving on there. So nice animations. Okay, let's see. Unfold tractor. What does that do? Oh, okay. You can actually see under the hood. Uh, let's see. Raise crane. What does this do? Okay, so that raises the back window. Nothing on that one. What does this one do? And that opens up the right side window. So you can't open up the left side one. That's definitely different. Uh, let me make sure real quick. Okay, that one's that one. Nothing on there. Nothing on there. Okay, there we go. Yeah, you can actually open that up too. Okay, top speed is 26 miles an hour. It takes a minute to get up there. And we get it as soon as we get up the wall. <laughs> Oops. Okay, so that right there, guys, is the Mossy Ferguson 3700 and 4700. Next, let's get to another Mossy tractor. We have the Mossy Ferguson 3000 series. And this is from Blue EA. Man, he makes a lot of tractors. But anyways, this is 95 horsepower as the base, manual plus power shift transmission, 170 liters of fuel, 24 miles an hour, 5.4 tons, 49,500. Will Brand, we got 12 board, Michelin, Continental, Midas, BKT, Bridestine, Nokian. Uh, you got standard, you got wheel weights, you got wide tires, wide tires plus weights, narrow tires, rear twin wheels, twin wheels, and then back to standard. It's probably gonna be like this to that with every single one, it looks like it. I think the only one that's going to be different, this one don't have standard. Uh, the neither does the big KTs, the Vertistein does, Nokian you just got communal. Okay, uh, let's go right over here, let's, let's put those on there. Attachers, you got standard attacher, you got front weight, and then back to standard. Front loader attacher, you got no, quickie, hower, and then no. Uh, engine setup, you got the MF3095, which is 95, the MF3115, which is 115, the MF3120, which is 120, and that is it on that. All right, so let's get it in game. So there we go. I love, like, the old look of this one right here. Okay, plus it's also 120 horsepower, so let's get in it real quick. Yeah, see, look at the interior. Love this interior. I am I love the old look. I don't know what that says on it. It's probably in German, but yeah. Oh, uh, wait, actually, dang, lots of detail on this. All right, one, two, three, three sets of lights. There is no beacons on this one. We got turn signals. They all work. Got to be quiet so you guys can hear the engine. Nice engine sound. Okay, here's the interior when you turn it over. Seems like that steering wheel is like really far away, doesn't it? Okay, lights. Okay, that all lights up. Okay, let's see what we have over here. Nothing on that one, nothing on that one. We do have some on this one. So you can open up that door. And you can open up the back window on it. Top speed is 25 miles an hour. Takes a minute to shift. Are we gonna make it before we hit that? Um, yes. Oh, there we go again. Don't go off. Don't go off. Don't go off. No, 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 no. Okay. I was trying not to actually go off. Can I get it back? I don't think so. Okay. So that right there, guys, is the Mossy Ferguson 3000 series. I think I'm going to use this as like a test from now on. You know, to see if actually a tractor or a truck will actually get top speed by the time we hit this right here. Okay. Let's get to the next new mods. Okay, the next new mod is a pack right here. This is the Loma ZDK1802, which I believe this is a new brand to Farming Simulator. This is from Vertex Design. The Loma ZDK1802 is supplied in three different basic versions. The ZDK1802, the ZDK1802 Combi, and the ZDK1802 Uni. In addition, there are also various configuration options with it. So we have this one right here, which holds 17,000 all the way up to 19,600. This one holds 25,000. 400 and this one holds 19,200. So let's go to this one real quick. And as you see, these are all dolly trailers. Uh, design you got 600 mm, you got the 800 mm, 
And then also, ooh, nice. I love that auger in the back. The 800 mm auger. And then we got bail trailer, and then back to 600. You can also put a cover on it, platform, and then a platform plus cover. Wheel setup, you got standard, you got wide tires, communal, Michelin cargo X bibs, Vredestein flotation pros, and then standard. Wow, I like this one actually. And this one is pretty much a bigger version of it. So far, this one don't have the auger in back. And then we got this one right here, which let's see, platform. Oh, you got the overblow protection on this one. It even says made in Germany right there. Got the platform plus cover. So really nice trailer pack. After that one, we had the La Chapagne pack from Valentin Lee Cut. Uh, this includes actually quite a few trailers and it includes a bail trailer over here. So we got the 6021, the 7124, the 7629, the 8532, and then of course the bail trailer, the SPR255. Let's go over this one real quick. Uh, this one holds, let's see, the base is $20,335,000. Uh, let's see, capacity $20,250, uh, $24,000, $24,500, $24,000, $24,000, $24,000, $24,000, $24,000, $24,000, $24,000, $24,000, $24,000, $24,000, $24,000, $24,000, $24,000, $24,000, $24,000, $24,000
Next, we have a huge pallet pack. This is the farm supply pack from the Lord, and this includes a lot of stuff. So if you don't want to make your crops, you can just buy these and start supplying these to the factories if you want to. We have it in barley, canola, chaff, maize, oats, potatoes, soybeans, uh, sunflowers, wheat, and then you also have it in single bags too, as you see right there. And these are 100 liters a piece. And then you got silage pallets, straw pallets, silage sacks, straw sacks, sugar beet sacks. And then you have a, a more pallets right here, sugar cane, fertilizer. I mean, yeah, there is tons with this feed. Pig feed, uh, mixed rations, so no need to make mixed rations anymore. You got chicken feed. A lot of stuff is included with this one. Okay, so that is it of the regular mods for all platforms. Let's go over the placeables for all platforms. Okay, so the first placeable mod we got for today is the pig tree, and this is from Mafu FS. So here it is right here. This thing holds 100 pigs, so not bad on that one. You got the German, the Bethlehem, and the Berkshire. Uh, does these doors all open? These doors do open. Those open too, so you do have storage with these. Light switch is right there that turns on that light. Does it turn on these ones? No, it does not. Uh, where's the light switch for in here? I don't see one. But let's actually put some pigs in here. Let's uh, let's put 10 of these in here right now. So as you see, there's the pigs. Uh, does the door open? Yes, the, ooh, the door does open. Does that open? No, it doesn't. That doesn't open either. Oh, the light switch is right there. There we go. So that all lights up. Looks like slurry right there. Uh, I think this is actually where you put your pig feed, I think. Uh, but anyways, I think they also, you don't need to get with them water or anything like that. Let me make sure real quick. So we got, let's see, yeah, just slurry and straw productivity. And of course you got your food right there. And there is the back end right there. Okay, so where can you find this? Go over here, let's go under animals, let's go under pigs. And there it is for $50,000 and 300 to do rotation on that. Now, the next one we talk about is the loading ramp with dock. This thing looks amazing right here. This thing's going to be good. Of course, you know, if you have that trailer and you want to actually load something up, I still really want a warehouse with the loading dock. That would be nice. Okay. But anyways, uh, where can you go to hire this thing right here? Let's see. Open dock leveler. Okay. There we go. So that actually extended it right there. And there we go. Okay, can you actually raise it or anything like that? Or is it just... Okay, I think it's just that. So basically, probably to raise it, you had probably have to do the ground underneath it and then raise it. So that closes that right there. Okay, where can you find this? Let's go under tools. And there it is right there. It's 4,350. And it's also 360 degree rotation on that. And that is from Pascal Coots. The next one on the list we have is the fuel tank from Mickey Mapper. So this is a fuel tank right here. This thing can hold, let's see, 20,000 liters of fuel. So let's go ahead and buy that real quick. Uh, nice stickers on it. So silo is completely refilled. Just bring your truck or your vehicle right here and you can refill it right there. Uh, actually right here. So I actually put this thing in the wrong place. Yikes. Okay, so where can you find this one? Let's go under here. Let's go to container, and it is right here. See, I should have did it like that. Now, the big one on the list for today is the U.S. Animal Food from Fib7. This is a production plant right here. You bring your stuff in right here, and right here. Well, actually, you get it out right here. Sorry. Yeah, you get it out right here, and you put your stuff in right here. But what can you make with this one? lots and lots of stuff. You can make your pig food, of course, for 60 pigs, 60 pigs, 120 pigs, 120 pigs. You got the TMR for 85 cows, 170 cows, or 255 cows. And you see it does, like, you know, it increases it, actually. And you also need fuel for this, too. So, you know, that, that fuel thing we just took a look at will be pretty good for this one. Uh, let's see. This one actually changes it either from, you know, potatoes or sugar beets. Same thing with this one. So, where can you find this? Let's go over here. Let's go into production. Go all the way to the very end. And there it is right there. It's only $40,000. So not bad right there. And now the last new mod for all platforms for today is this right here. The Motorex Oil Barrel Plus Flag. This is from Agar Danny. So it includes a barrel. 
and includes a flag. These are just for decoration only. Can you pick this thing up? No, you can't. Okay, where can you find this decoration? Let's go under decorations, go to others, and all the way at the very end. The barrel is 290 and the flag is 950. I do like this flag. Look, you can see it blowing in the wind. Okay, guys, so that is all the new mods for today for all platforms. Probably going to have to say probably one of the Mossy Ferguson's is probably one of my favorite mods for the day for all platforms. Okay, let's go over the updates we got for today. The first update for all platforms for today we have is this one right here. This is the Lizard Trailer Pack. What changed on this one? Improved physics and added a ladder on that. Then we have the Lemkin D24. What changed on this one? Fix some i3D mappings, revised model, new icon and store image, and new spec and normal map. And then now the last one, the Lizard CSW300. What changed on this one? Fixed texture compression and fixed wear appearing too quickly. So that is everything for all platforms. That's the new mods and of course the updates. Let's go over the PC only ones now. Now, welcome to the PC only mods for today. The first one we have is the Low Loader 5523 from Carl911. Let's see, 6.9 tons. Tires, I just, all I can read is street. $17,000. Let's see, there's a lot of options on this one. Wow, look at that. There is a lot of detail on that. Fenders, you got standard, you got fenders, then back to standard. Warning signs, you got standard, you got warning signs. Uh, logo, you got standard. You got the lizard type logo, lizard type logo two, CHM zap type one, the CHM zap type two, and then back to standard attachers. You got standard attacher, you got plus trailer hitch, and then back to standard. Wide decking, standard, wide decking, then back to standard. Painted planks, painted metal, metal, and planks. Uh, wheel setup, you got the ID 304s, the 075 off roads. Ooh, look at those tires. You got the M93 mud, and then back to the street. Main color, you got any color you want, which changes the top right there. Design color, any color. So if we want to change it to black, that looks really good. Uh, rim color, you have any color on that too. And so there we go right there. This is a really nice front load. Uh, lo low loader, sorry, I can't even speak. Now the next new mod, which I'm probably gonna be using, is the Slaris AD7000 from Langro Modding. This thing holds 7,000 liters, two tons, 42 working meters, 11 miles an hour's operating speed, $23,000. There is no option on this, but it is really nice. And the reason why I probably will be using this is because it can also do lime too. So 7,000 liters plus lime and 42 working meters, that's pretty good. And now on to the last new mod for PC only, and it is this one right here, which is a pretty interesting one. This is invoices from KR Softwares. This is what it says. Do you do work for someone else? then just invoice your working time. With this mod, you can send invoices to another farm. There are predefined activities for this. In the main menu, you can create and pay invoices. So it's pretty cool. So if you're playing multiplayer, you can actually like, you know, if you have two different farms, it's say if someone helps you on your farm, you can basically make them pay you or whatever. So that's pretty nice right there. Okay, so that is all the new mods for PC only. What's left to go over? That testing list. So let's see that testing list for the middle of the week. A little drunk, but I'm alright. Cause I've been hanging with you, and it feels like love. Tell me if I'm wrong, cause it feels like love. Yeah, it feels like love. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Well, that was the news, new mods, and testing list for today. Today's schedule we have a celebration stream at 7 p.m. Central Standard Time. Fingers crossed it goes good this time. Hope you all enjoyed the video. Remember, if you guys did, to smash that like button. Also, if you're new, to hit that sub button and ring that bell. And from me to you, welcome to the club. See you tonight. Peace. I think about you and I. I want you here with me. Am I out of my mind? Or is this how it should be? You made me sing about love uh, So just tell me if